Now, again, you're always going to be able to start typing a command in the command line at the bottom here and see things get auto filled or um, auto completed for you. So if you ever don't know a command, just start typing something out that you think is where you want to go and it's going to auto fill those in. But for ones that you can quickly type in, MA is your match properties. So this is going to match the properties between one object to the other object, uh, starting with the one you'd like to copy from and then the object you'd like to copy to. So again, MA and enter is going to start the match properties command. Another great one to use is PE for polyline edit. And you can see here if I've got a polyline drawn and I type in PE enter, it's going to ask me to select a polyline and then I can choose all of the typical P edit commands, which would be edit a vertex, fit, decurve, line type generation, reverse align, close, etc. Next up, if you didn't catch that, I typed in PL to create a polyline. So PL and enter is going to start the polyline command. This is one you're going to use a ton. And TR for trim is going to allow you to trim these. You just simply select the objects after typing in TR and hitting enter. Hit enter again and you can start by trimming things away. Next up, you can see I've got this irregularly shaped polygon over here. If I wanted to hatch that, you can simply type in H for hatch to bring up the hatch ribbon panel up here. Another one that's super useful is D and I for distance. Hitting that and typing enter is going to allow you to select any two points to get a distance down in the command line here. It's going to give you your delta as well as the total distance. If you make this a little bit taller here, you can see the total distance is 41 feet, five inches and five and three quarters inches. Now, these are just a few quick text commands, but as I mentioned, you can start typing in any command and it's going to pop up in the autocomplete and hitting enter at that point is going to activate the command for you.